everyone welcome back so in this video I am not doing nails but I'm making a extreme 3d butterfly so I'm just showing you I went along and I used the shape of the wings from the CJP light pink butterfly form so I did cheat a little wee bit but I wanted to make sure that they were both even on both sides so I used negligee because I totally need to do an order and I didn't want to waste my crystal glass. So I use negligee and I'm taking wettish beads and I'm just placing it on that backing form. So same way you would to mould your uh, 3D flowers and everything like that. So I'm just, well basically because the back of the form is a little bit shiny when you cover in a large space like that it will tend to separate a little bit so just on your next bead uh, bleed it out a little bit and then pop it back on cover it over so you want to be keeping them as thin as you can but obviously you don't want it super thin so that it doesn't snap when you take it off the form so you'll notice once you peel your uh, actual form off of the backing paper there'll be a slight trace of the shape of it left on the form there and that's just what I used um, for the outer edge shape so I'm just coming in and I'll make all four wings separately oh, excuse me actually a really fun thing to do uh, it did quite stress me out towards the end I was getting really stressed and irritated but um, <laughs> this was by far the easiest bit so again with any sort of 3d work is patience is the key Although you're not really building anything up with these, so you only have to really let this bit sit, uh, set, sorry, and then the rest is just, I, I chose to paint them with acrylic paint rather than use coloured acrylics. So here I'm just um, making the body of the butterfly, and then obviously so that I've got something to stick the wings onto. So you obviously want it a bit wider at the top for where the head would be and then tapering it down. And I think I used um, CJP Black Cherry for this. <clears throat> and I'll just use my normal size 10 brush as well. It was definitely a learning curve. It didn't turn out quite as delicate as what I uh, had in my head but all the same I was still I was still pleased with it actually I was just pleased to be finished the damn thing to be honest <laughs> um, so yeah just tapering that down to almost a point on the bottom there in hindsight I probably should have got a picture of a butterfly and sort of went along those lines copying the shapes but I was so eager to have a go, I didn't, I just jumped right in there. So once I've got that initial shape of the butterfly there, I come in with beads and go on top of it so that it's not flat. So I'm just popping one on there for where the head would be. And then start another one a little bit further down for the body. And I am bleeding these out because I don't want them to just sink and all run off the sides goodness sorry I can't stop yawning I just took my son to the cinema and I'm like I literally just want to go to sleep now <laughs> I 
was going to put some angel paper in it and encapsulate it and but then me and angel paper are not really friends so I decided to put it back in the drawer so here they are almost set and I'm just taking using the warmth from the fingers just to bend those outer edges of the wings just to give it a bit more movement it's a bit a little bit more realistic looking I mean I'm not that great of a painter to make it realistic but I just wanted a bit of movement in there nail art and painting is something that I just adore like there is so many amazing artists out there I just wish I was one of them but uh, you know <laughs> I'll just stick with building the nails for now So again they're just using the warmth from my fingers to set it up a little bit quicker. So I'm coming in with these orgasmic paints and I've also used a crystal nails paint, the darker blue one there and then I mixed the lighter blue with the blue and the white and then I just had the blue on its own as well. I'll leave a link to where I bought them from. So I, I just painted them while they were already on that backing form there. So I've gone in with the mid blue and then on the bottom of the wing the lighter blue and then the top of the wing the darkest blue and then I'll just rinse my brush off and then I'll just start mixing them together. I'll just sweep in my brush up and down just so you get that blend going on there. Again I'm not brilliant at painting so this um I was pleased how it worked out because it could have been a uh, drastically different so I just come in with a bit of white on its own on the bottom there because I wanted it to be noticeably lighter on the bottom and then so I do that to all four of the wings at the same time well not at the same time but one after another that'd be quite clever if I did them all at the same time wouldn't it um, and then I'll top coat them afterwards once I've peeled them off the back end they peel off really easily Now they're dry, I just get my tweezer and just slide it underneath the backing form. 
obviously because it's quite thin you do <clears throat> have to be pretty gentle with them so I'm going in with a top coat here I just used the CJP make it matte because I wanted a tacky surface because I'm gonna um, rub some um, fairy dust into it a blue and a green one just to give it a little shimmer once it's cured and I'll do the same to all four and I'll just pop them in the lamp once I've done that for 60 seconds and then you, I, I had to sort of pick them up with the tweezer again sliding it under a couple of them from out of the lamp as well And obviously when you use acrylic paint it dries super super fast anyway so so they're the bigger leaves that leaves um, wings cured there we go I'm just dabbing in some green and blue uh, fairy dust coating again just to seal that dust in and it's a shame you can't it doesn't pick it up on the camera it's really pretty trying to show you that shimmer that the light keeps glaring off the top coat so so here's my four pieces and then I'm just going to go in with the uh, detail so I just came in um, with black all around the outside of the wing just using a barber 2 detailer brush now I didn't thin the paint down to do this bit because I wanted it quite dark so I'm coming in and then I'm adding like little triangle shapes that are coming off the outer edge and then I go all the way around um, doing these like triangular shapes and then sort of joining them down so that they all kind of meet at the bottom it's so hard to explain because I'm not an artist so I found it easier for me to hold it in my hand rather than try and do it while it was laying flat because it kept moving about and to get the really fine lines you just dip my brush in the water watered the paint down a little bit and then you want to hold that brush right on a 45 degree angle because it's got a tiny hair on the bottom so you need to hold it upright if you want to use that tiny hair Again, in hindsight, I probably should have looked at a picture of a butterfly wing whilst I was doing this, but I didn't. I just thought, oh yeah, because I know what a butterfly looks like. <laughs> It'll be fine. Come to paint and I'm like, oh damn. 
so then I come in and I just thicken up some of the lines that I want a bit thicker And then come back here and water my paint down to draw some like more veins in the wing. Again, holding that brush as upright as what you can to get those really fine lines. So next we're coming with my dotting tool and the really really tiny end I'm just come in and add some white dots just on those wider black parts of the wing took some wire and I kind of popped a bead of acrylic just underneath on the underside of the body so that I could attach the wire for the the um, the, the, the stringy bits that come out of the butterfly's head <laughs> I don't know what they're called so here I'm just I was just working out which way to attach the wings and then just added small beads of acrylic. Um, I didn't actually like the way the body looked. It just looked weird to me. So I pulled the wings back off and snipped the head off. <laughs> and then stuck it back together again in the way that you can see now. And I, I really liked the way it looked after that. Um, and then I just added a few stones just down the body and a couple on the wings which I didn't get on camera but yeah I'll leave a picture at the end and I hope you enjoyed um yeah just have a play It'd be great to see some so again if you enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed I'd be really grateful if you could do so and I will see you in my next one. Bye.